Simon, that was the fourth best figures by a striker's uh, bowler. Adds to your great uh, season across all forms. Yeah, it was news to me, actually. I think I saw it on the striker's Instagram on the plane just before. Um, but no, it's... Um, yeah, it's obviously good to have individual performances, but even better to get that win um, leading into the last three games. How's the confidence for you at T20 level now? Uh, it's really good. Yeah. I think my confidence across the board has, has developed over this season, um, playing with the Red Backs over the Shield season, the one-day season. I think taking that confidence into this season has held, held me in good stead, and I've got guys like Peter Siddle, Michael Nessa around me now who um, I can lean on um, and learn off uh, going into games. So, no, I'm feeling really good. How do you feel that they've been coming out throughout the campaign? Um, well, well, um, I think I've still got a lot of improvement to go, um, but I think my confidence is high, like you said. So when your confidence is high, you're not thinking as much about where you got to put the ball, and you're more bowling the ball and, and doing your best you can to um, help your team get a win. So no, I'm feeling really good. When you were out of the side, what was the message that you were being told? Uh, just team balance. You know, we've got such a good array of bowlers in our team at the moment, which is so good for our depth. Um, and horses for courses. You know, some pitches suit different bowlers better, and sometimes different bowlers bowl the same, same sort of. How do I put it? Uh, deliveries, um, slow balls, Yorkers. And so you got to pick ones that balance each other out perfectly. So that's probably it. Is that harder to cop when it's just your like team balance and there's nothing you're doing wrong necessarily? No, not really. You know, I just want to see our guys win. You know, I just want to see strikers win and, and, and keep pushing up that ladder. Um, and I know I'll get my turn eventually. So just a word on Cavs. Form must have been an amazing innings to be part of. Yeah, it was incredible to watch. I remember us clapping his 50, and I said he's 50 already. Um, so it's amazing. Um, he's a world-class player, and he's just showing that now in the Big Bash. Were you getting nervous at the end there with David Miller? Uh, yeah, I was a little bit nervous then. He was hitting some big balls. Um, but when Sidzi came on, he's world class again. Um, and he nailed his Yorkers, uh, just like he's been practicing. So uh, we, once Sid's nailed his first two balls, I thought we had it in the back. And you've been bowling with some wheels, mate. Is it the uh, pace <laughs> or the control that you are working on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether Seven's bumping it up for me or something like that. Mm. But um, no, I've just been working really hard in the nets. And I think maybe my... Like I said, my confidence is high, and that's helping my pace get up, but um, I'm not really worried about that. I think my execution's been really good, and I think that's been the most important thing. So your pace has surprised Evan you? Yeah, it has surprised <laughs> me. I've never really looked at myself as an out-and-out -out quick bowler, but um, hopefully I can keep developing that and keep getting quicker. How big are these games against the Stars, mate? You're second now, but if you can at least split one of those, it's going to be um, you know, a pretty good finish for you guys. Yeah, this game's massive in terms of balance and seeing where we sit. Um, against the best. They've obviously been the best side this year so far. Um, and if we can give them a run for their money, it will be a really good test for us leading into the final series. It seems like both teams should be at you know, full strength. The boys came back from India, so that'll be a you know, pretty interesting game. Man. It's going to be really good. We get Keza back, yeah. um, which is a great asset to our batting lineup. Um, and we're already firing with the bat um, once he's gone away. So to have him come in is just an extra strength. And I think we can really test out the stars. Yeah, it'd be nice uh, for up against uh, Frank Worrell and uh, Zamps and all those boys, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good fun. I think that's a danger, though, for us that we've got to be aware of. They know the conditions really well um, and they bowl well, obviously, in their home state for state cricket. So we've just got to be aware of that and have our plans in place for that.